This episode of Soldier Knows Best is brought to you by Audible. Hey, what's up, guys? Soldier Knows Best here. This is my review of the Chromebook Pixel. This is a laptop running Chrome OS. It's meant for the cloud, so I'm going to try to see by the time we end this video who this laptop is going to be for. And of course, I'm going to talk about the design, the hardware, the specs, the software, the performance, and we're going to see everything about this laptop right now. So it's going to start the review. Now this Chromebook has a very simple, basic, plain look to it, and I like it. That's not a bad thing at all. It is machined out of anodized aluminum, so it has this nice look to it. And with this rounded edges and no visible screws, this laptop should be able to appeal to a lot of people for its looks. Now on the lid itself, you do have this light strip that glows and changes colors. And when you do put the computer to sleep or when you do lift the lid up to wake it up, it'll go ahead and make kind of the Google Chrome logo colors there, which I think is a nice added touch. It's not really functional, but it does look cool. As we make our way around the device, on the left hand side you will find a 3.5mm headphone jack. To the left of that you will find two USB 2.0 ports, but for a laptop for this price point it should be coming with USB 3.0 ports. Uh, to the left of that you will find a mini display port to help connect this thing to external monitors. And also to the left of that you will find the AC adapter port. And then on the right hand side you will find the SD card slot and that is all of our ports. One thing you will notice while looking at this computer is that it doesn't have any visible vents at all. It has active cooling, but it's not really doing a good job at that. When I am watching a video online, on the bottom, the left hand side does get warm and I had a friend that was using this and they were like, this is extremely hot for them. So it kind of gets kind of hot just like the older generation MacBook Pros did. It doesn't bother me too much, but it is one thing to note. Now you don't fully get to see the beauty of this laptop until you flip up the lid and take a look at this beautiful 12.85 inch display that has a 3 by 2 aspect ratio. So it's definitely going to be a smaller screen than most laptops in this category, but it makes up for it in the quality of the screen itself. It has a resolution of 2560 by 1700 and has 239 PPI, that's pixels per inch. And all this makes for a really good first impression when you do first take a look at this screen. And take note, I've been using the Retina Display MacBook Pro now for quite a while now, but I was still impressed by the screen is definitely a little bit brighter the colors just seem a little bit more more just just more easier to look at and just a better overall screen than what i saw in the retina display mac pro it doesn't blow it out the water by no means but it does look very nice now this display looks so good it makes you want to touch it well thankfully you can't actually touch this uh, this is a griddle glass multi-touch screen so you can actually navigate it just like a tablet um, you can pinch and zoom on certain images or if you're in google maps um, you can scroll up and down web pages you can tap around you can fully navigate this computer just by using touch and I quickly wrap up my touchscreen experience just by saying it is usable. And when I did remember to use it, I was able to, again, just to scroll up and down web pages or I just tap and hold anywhere on the screen to activate the right click function. And it was just kind of a joy to use. It was basically like having a tablet there uh, when you needed it or when you wanted to use it, uh, but still have that laptop functionality ready to go whenever you want to switch to it. So the touchscreen is a plus. Now, for most of the times, you're not going to be using a touch screen, and you're going to be using the multi-touch glass trackpad that's at the bottom here. And right above that, you will find probably the nicest keyboard that I've used in a very, very long time. Um, this is a backlit keyboard, so you are working at nighttime or in the dark, you'll be able to still see the keys. And the keys are just really spaced perfectly. They have the right amount of feedback to them. I really love to feel this keyboard. Um, at the top, you'll find a whole bunch of function keys. You'll find a dedicated refresh button. You'll also find a full screen button, volume controls, and your power button. All right, so that's a look at the outside of this computer. Now let's gonna take a look at the inside. Now this computer is featuring an Intel Core i5 processor, which is gonna be dual core at 1.8 gigahertz, and also has Intel HD Graphics 4000, which is gonna be integrated graphics. That also comes with four gigabytes of DDR3 RAM, and also a 32 gigabyte solid state drive. So you may see that the storage capacity is definitely low, uh, especially again for a computer at this price point. Uh, but the Google does throw in one terabyte of usage with Google Drive. That's it's going to be free for two years and again this is a cloud computer so you're not really meant to have a whole bunch of local storage on it also on the inside you will find bluetooth 3.0 and also dual band wi-fi and the version i'm reviewing right now is the wi-fi only version they do offer another version that has verizon lte built inside of it alongside gps now, as far as the battery google says you should be able to get about five hours of active use and i would say in my testing it was right around that i sometimes got a little bit lower than that sometimes i got a little bit more than the five hours and real quick i'm just going to hit on the built-in speakers and say that these speakers are loud they ha even have a little bass to them as well which is a nice touch um so the speakers are definitely a plus on this Chromebook Pixel. So that's all the hardware. Now it's going to take a look at the software. So this laptop is running the Chrome OS, which is basically like the Google Chrome web browser, but it has a couple different enhancements to make it feel a little bit more like a desktop OS. 
And now since this OS is pretty lightweight, it's not too much going on with it, and you combine that with a solid state drive, the boot up times, the shutdown times, and just waking up from sleep are just, just blazing, blazingly fast. Now once you end the OS, you'll find at the bottom everything is pretty simple. On the left hand side, um, you have all the different icons. You have the Chrome icon, uh, Gmail icon, and different things uh, that you want to put down here for Google Drive, the YouTube, or just have this button dedicated to show you all of your different applications. And then on the right hand side, you'll find the uh, settings and controls and things like that to control the Bluetooth, the volume controls to get in there and see how much battery time you have left uh, to put the computer to sleep and so on. Now again, this OS is touch compatible, so you can rearrange the icons on the bottom left-hand side if you wanted to. And also too, you can hide the bar there at the bottom just by swiping up. And then if you want to show it again, just swipe up again. And you can also tap on this resize button when you do have a window open and either move a window to the left or to the right-hand side, or you can minimize it down to the bottom. Now just take a look at the applications built in you'll find all the standard apps from the calendar application google docs google drive uh, google slides things like that now when you want to install other applications like games or productivity apps or twitter apps and things like that you need to go to the chrome web store now every application that is inside this web store is not compatible with this chrome os laptop uh, but most of them are so you'll find the standards like angry birds and uh, different games like cut the rope and stuff like that then also you'll find picasa you'll find the weather channel application i mean you'll find a lot of the core applications that are on basically every platform right now on the Chrome Web Store. So again, just to be clear, you're not going to be installing Call of Duty or Photoshop or things like that on this laptop. You're going to be living in the cloud. But again, my experience with this laptop, with everything just being up there in the cloud, was pretty enjoyable. I, I mean, as long as you have an internet connection, um, you're not going to really feel disconnected at all. Now, you can do some things offline, but again, you're meant to be on the internet. And now I'm going to wrap up this review of the Chromebook Pixel. Now, who is this laptop for? I can honestly honestly say that this is probably for most of you guys out there let me go and explain what I mean by that I think this laptop is going to be the perfect couch or just really home laptop if you're just going to be chilling in your bed chilling at home you want to do some web browsing some surfing and things like that and you kind of want just a little bit more you know flexibility than a tablet this this computer is actually going to replace my MacBook Pro retina in that particular category now as far as productivity or getting things done as far as video editing photo editing gaming um, and doing really anything extensive with your computer this is definitely not going to be it. I mean, this computer is, is definitely underpowered for its price range. Uh, but the reason it's underpowered is because it's not meant to be doing anything more than what it is. And that is going to be connecting you to the web, allowing you to access most of your information and do some web browsing and things like that. But for the most part, really provide a very nice, clean experience uh, with the web. Now, with all that being said, $1,300 is too much for this laptop. I do love this laptop. I love the hardware. I love the software. Uh, but $1,300 is too much. Maybe around $800, $900 bucks, it will probably be in a sweet spot for now. Uh, but a lot of people are kind of saying this is going to be the, the laptop for developers uh, for Chrome OS and things like that, which I can see that. Uh, but if you are, for some reason, willing to spend $1,300 on this laptop. I don't think you'll be disappointed if you know exactly what you're spending that money on. Um, but this laptop is going to be something I'm going to keep personally. Um, and I think it's, it's just a really solid machine overall. I just want the price to come down a little bit and hopefully it will in the future. So anyway, guys, it's been my Chromebook Pixel review. I want you to leave a comment down below what you think about this laptop. It's just something that you will buy, something that you want yourself. Um, but before I do officially in this video, guys, I'm going to take one last look at our sponsor for this video. Today's sponsor is Audible. Audible.com has thousands and thousands and thousands of books to choose from. And they're just not regular books. These are audio books that you can put in your cell phone, put in your MP3 player, put it in your car and listen to while you're driving to work or listen to while you're working out if you want to go for a run. And they also just released a new iPad application that you can download right now and choose your favorite book and listen to it on your tablet. And I'm one of the books I'm reading right now is called Digital Wars. It's a book talking about the battle between Google and Apple and Microsoft, really just the battle for the internet and things like that. So you can start listening to this audiobook or really any book in their audiobook library if you go to audible.com forward slash soldier right now and you'll get a free audiobook again that's audible.com forward slash soldier all right again thanks for watching this video all the links down below to this laptop and all my social networks my twitter instagram and facebook are down below make sure you check those out and thanks for watching guys and i will catch you later peace